Welcome to the Maths Department at the Willie Good School. My name is Miss Green and I'm Head of Maths here. In the Maths Department we have six fully qualified mathematicians. At Key Stage 3 we follow the Maths Mastery Scheme of Work which we'll talk to you a little bit more about in a moment and at Key Stage 4 we follow the Edexcel curriculum. We also do something called Times Tables Rockstars which hopefully you will have seen at primary school and we have competitions every half term. Hi, I'm Mr Saul and I coordinate the Key Stage 3 programme here at the Wilmington School. We follow the Maths Mastery programme which is an internationally recognised practice adopted by many schools across the country. Our vision for every child, regardless of background, to enjoy and succeed in mathematics. Our aims for the students in lessons are understanding concepts in depth using multiple representations and problem solving to deepen understanding, cumulative learning, Topics are studied and revisited and integrated into content throughout the programme. Challenge through depth, not acceleration. Extension tasks delve further into the problem as opposed to accelerating to year eight or year nine content. Number sense and place value come first. Our first half term, we will study these skills in depth because they underpin the remainder of the programme. And this is done rather than learning rules or tricks and practising questions repetitively like 50 times. To achieve this in lessons, we have a primary focus of language and communication. This means students will be engaging in many talk tasks where they're encouraged to use concise and formal mathematical language to explain their ideas. They'll be expected to justify uh, through discussion and reasoning skills what, they, what and how to solve the problems that they're opposed with. And additionally, they're going to be asked to make conjectures and generalisations and this takes us through to later stages of learning. We also use multiple representations and I'd like to show you those now. Here's an example of some concrete learning in maths. I'm trying to find a factor of 24 using our manipulatives. So I've got 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, and I'm just working out this last one. So I've got 4 and 6. So just write that there. So at Key Stage 4, we follow on the learning from the Key Stage 3 Maths Mastery to develop into our GCSE scheme of work. Here, students have four lessons a week where we follow the Edexcel scheme and we also use MathsWatch to help consolidate learning. That's an online uh, resource that the students will all have access to. Mr. Morgan, how many uh, Maltesers have you got in that box? I think there's 110. Okay, so if we knew how many Maltesers are in a box and we knew how many boxes there are would fit in the room, we could work out how many Maltesers fit in the room. Yeah, but I think we need more information. Like what? Ooh, I think we're going to need to measure the room. I think we should set a challenge. If you think you can work out how many more teasers can fit into this room, you will find a PDF with all the measurements you'll need on the school website. We would love to see your answer. Take a photo of yourself with your solution and send it to office at wilnacotehighschool.org. Thank you, Mr. Harris. We look forward to seeing you in September and cannot wait as a maths department to pass on our expertise to you. Bye.